Three, three New Year's Day murders leaving families simply devastated tonight. All of them remain unsolved. That includes the shooting death of a 30-year-old woman on Gold Street. The victim, a young mother, just 30 years old. Shana Mason now leaves behind three young children. I cared about her so much, and I still care about her, and it's not right. Such heart-wrenching words from a young girl who begins the new year without her mother. Now all the victim's family can do is pray for justice. We get more tonight from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller. She is a wonderful mother. On the other side of the trigger, a family is grieving. She, she, she would do anything for us. <laughs> Anaya wanted to tell us about her mother, 30-year-old Shayna Mason, who was shot and killed on New Year's Day outside a home on Gold Street at 10.15 in the morning. Her 11-year-old daughter, 7-year-old daughter, and 4-year-old son now left without a mother, a mother who Anaya says was the best one ever. She is the only person I knew. <laughs> that could care about somebody so much. <laughs> Shayna's family is left with questions. Why would someone do this? You never think you're going to lose your child to violence, you know, and that is going to take a toll forever on me. Someone knows something, of course. There's always someone that knows something, and sometimes being silent is not the thing to do. Shayna was one of three people shot and killed in Buffalo within the first 12 hours of the new year. Buffalo police are asking anyone with information to come forward. But when it comes to Shayna's children, nothing can bring back their mother, and nothing can heal this unrelenting pain. Whoever did this is a very cold hearted person. <laughs> When they did this, they really weren't thinking. <laughs> she didn't deserve what happened to her. Shana's daughter is turning eight years old in two weeks. That's happening on January 16th. The family is holding a birthday party and a fundraiser for the children at the skating rink on East Ferry on the 13th from 6 to 9 at night. There's also a GoFundMe account right now set up for the kids. Reporting live tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.